Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sanvi Dikshit and today I have a very very special video for you. This video is very special for me as well because a very close friend of mine has started her very first coffee roastery right here in Pune called Demitas Brew. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys two very unique ventures in Pune. One is of course Demitas Brew, which is a coffee roastery, and the other one is this cafe where I am at, which is called Godam. It's a specialty coffee cafe, one of its kind in Pune. Let's go and experience these, shall we? So Godam is a specialty coffee cafe, so in which we have uh, specialty coffees roasted all around uh, India from specialty coffee roasters, and we have different brewing methods apart from the normal espresso uh, drinks like cappuccino or lattes. There's like uh, about eight uh, manual brewing options, and there's a vacuum siphon also. And uh, apart from that. We educate people about coffee, and uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of things which we do here. So what we do in Demitas is we uh, get coffee beans, green beans from different estates all over India, and we roast them in house in really small batches, very micro lot batches, and we supply them directly to the customers and home brewers for their uh, fresh batch of freshly uh, ground coffee as well. And we grind them according to their preference, and um, yeah, that's basically what we're doing. And we've launched with the Aurora series from Barbara Chikmagluru, um, and we'll be coming up with a few more estates in the next few months. What are we using? So we're using the Aurora series medium light, which is from Barbara Estate Chikmagluru, and we're brewing it in um, origami. origami. So it's a Japanese uh, brewing, brewing method, method yeah, yes. and looks really fancy. Yes, and I love the color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we are going to take about 16 grams of coffee. We are just uh, rinsing uh, the paper right now. This is called a hand grinder and it uh, is very easy to use it. You can use it anywhere to grind coffee. So you can smell it differently. You, you can smell some acidity, some fruitiness to it, which yeah. you wouldn't feel in normal coffee. Yeah. So this is what specialty coffee is. Yeah, fruitiness. For yes, sure. yes. So what are your personal favorite coffees? So uh, it's very difficult to describe that what's a uh, favorite coffee, but I can say what types of coffees I like. Mm -hmm. So there's something called a natural coffee, which is a post harvest process. Mm -hmm. So it has a lot of fruitiness, a lot of acidity. So those are the kind of coffees I like. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. How about you? I think for me, I think I don't have a particular preference. It's not always natural. There are times when I like fermented coffee. Mm. It depends on how it roasts, how mm. it's roasted as well. So there's fermented, there's also washed that I like. Mm. So yeah, what about you? Uh, I usually, like you said, I usually prefer like the nuttier Nutty, coffees, the yeah, darker, yeah, darker roasts. Roast. And, uh, so I, so I'm usually that's a little hesitant similar, towards the yeah. two cit uh, coffees which are too citrusy. Yeah, so basically, you know, that's a basic notion yeah. for people because that's how usually we've had coffees yeah, till yeah, now right. but this is what we need to take like you know yeah. educate people about and then they can see that what they like what they don't like but uh, to be honest i'm actually enjoying this even actually, though it's a yes, medium yes, light, yeah. I, i'm enjoying this coffee yes. I, I didn't think I would, but I am. <laughs> so this was a origami uh, brewing technique yes, that we yes, tried, and yes. you said you also have a size. You have about eight to nine different yes, brewing methods yes, here. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So uh, you can uh, any customer who comes here can actually choose what uh, yeah, what, uh, yeah, what yeah. coffee. So they it's want, like a menu card. It's it's like a menu card. Yeah. And they can actually watch it being brewed. Yeah, yeah, them. absolutely. Okay. So the way we've done so there's like a brew bar, mm -hmm. which anyone can come see how it's brewed. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And about your roastery, people can just uh, you know they can choose their beans and tell you what roast they want. Yeah. So we are doing uh, the beans in three different roasts right now. So okay. we have a medium, medium light, and a medium dark, mm -hmm. according to like preferences. 
Um, and we doing them in only 150 grams of packets, which are like quite mm -hmm. small packs. We also have uh, 50 grams of sample packs. Okay. So in case they want to try different mm -hmm. ones, they can buy like a pack of three, which will be three different roasts. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, so these, these are the ones that we have. And I think the reason behind a smaller batch or smaller packet size is that the coffee stays fresh. Mm -hmm. So if one's yeah. ordering like, yeah. you know, if that 150 grams, you know, is used for a week. Mm -hmm. So next week they can get a fresher packet. Fresh, yeah. yeah, like a fresh batch. Yes. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah, because it tends to lose yes. out its it, aroma. As soon as it's open, it starts yeah. losing its freshness yeah. and its aroma. Yeah. Vacuum siphon yes. brew now yes. with the medium roast beans. Yeah. This one is very good. Mm, it yeah, is, yeah. How come? I no, thought the lighter one no, was no, supposed no, to smell no, like through here. Yeah. So the roast profile changes a lot of things. And this one's uh, like, you know, brewed at a little higher, higher level. Higher temperature, right. This is smelling much fruitier yeah. than the earlier one. But I think this will have a little more better than also creation. Like as compared to the previous one. Yeah, yes, it does. Uh, Pudi is a coffee culture. We can say it's a coffee culture. Say is in pretty nascent stages. I I would say one of the few people who have who actually have coffee related ventures in the city. How do you feel the coffee scene in Pune is going to grow and how is it going to be in the coming you know let's say five years or the coming decade? Yeah, so I feel like Pune being a city where there's a lot of youth, like you know, a lot of students, a lot of education educational institute. So and uh, students these days they love their coffees. So I think there's great uh, hope. Yeah, no, I think it's really growing uh, with people, uh, with like homebrewers coming up as well yes. and these championships yes. that are happening and really good people coming out of like Absolutely. from Pune. So um, people are educating themselves about mm. it and, and people are getting good into good coffee. It. Good coffee. Yes. yes. Alright, so this was a wonderful interaction with Sagarika yes. and Pinak and uh, we are going to be back with another video which is going to be a session on brewing methods. You right? will a be workshop. brewing. I am mean, yeah. going to be brewing yeah. which a total novice when it comes to that. But uh, yeah, so we will see you in the next video where we will actually be brewing different coffees. Thank you for watching.